My name is Aldous Afork. I'm graduate student in legal informatics and forensic science in Halim University. Today, I will discuss with you how Cloudflare Argotan is going to be challenging to origin server digital forensic investigation. Basically, I uh, research on IoT forensics, but this one is just for the presentation. So in this talk, I will present the already existing methods which are discussed by many uh, researchers and i will focus specifically on the argo tunnel i will set up the i i, set, I just set up the argo tunnel and perform forensic investigation on it so my discussion points include introduction so uh, um, in the in this session uh, on the introduction part i will talk about what the cloud flare is what services it provides, how forensic investigation or digital forensic investigation has been done on servers behind the Cloudflare, and most importantly, why do we need to investigate those origin servers, and the other parts or the other part already existing methods and results. So on the top of that, what challenges are there or what challenges are going to be happen due to the recent release? service from the Cloudflare, which is the Argo Tunnel. In final in conclusion, I will show some demos if we got time. So first of all, who is concerned on these issues? Who, who has to investigate the origin servers or who needs to investigate those origin servers? Basically, digital forensic researcher, researchers may target those origin servers doing forensic, law enforcement agencies, cybersecurity researchers, auditors, or penetration testers to check whether those sites are secure or, or whether those sites are vulnerable to attack, and website owners, those who want to check how secure their website is by Cloudflare. So when we talk about Cloudflare or any other uh, cloud-based web security services which deliver reverse proxy services, this one is generic explanation also it is from Incapsula network which is one of the uh, reverse proxy service pro providers so they basically has the capability to absorb ddos attacks to web servers which are uh, impossible or may not be capable or may not be protected by the server itself so they have the scalability to absorb those DDoS, DDoS attacks. And the other one is speed up services. They deliver content. They are basically content delivery networks, which are supposed to speed up the service or the website services that are behind them. The other part is they do have like web access firewalls, so they protect the other or the servers behind their services. Among the companies, Cloudflare, Encapsula, and Secure are popular. And today I'm going to talk about the Cloudflare and its recent services related to the security and its challenges to digital forensic investigations. So Cloudflare is a US-based company which is uh, popular in delivering content delivery network and DDoS protections for web servers hosted and about 10% of the traffic pass through, through them, which is through their cloud protection service. They have more than 150 data centers all over the globe that can facilitate the speed up service, also the DDoS protection. And recently they are adding smart routing services such as Argo and based on, on the top of that, they are delivering Argo tunnel or Argo security service, which protect us the origin servers even more and they do have other services also so why do we need to investigate or why do we need to forensic analyze origin servers behind cloud servers on the top as far as pen testers may want to check how secure those services are or how protected those servers are for just auditing service or for themselves to test their securities. The other part is 
law enforcement perspectives or law enforcement agencies may want to forensically analyze services that are hosted behind the cloud flare in case those services hosted or delivered illegal content such as for example copyright infringement is in those cases the uh, point or the legal contact of the cloud flare is just since they are not hosting the service by themselves they just provide some information or redirect the information to the owners of the web servers or the origin servers so between the notification and the abuse notification and the origin server so the owner of that origin server may change the services may delete or may modify the content so there, there there should be some method to forensically analyze without noticing the owner of that service so to perform that there should be a bypassing mechanism from the cloud service and the other point to uh, indicate is that court orders has been increasing from 2013 to 2017 in 2017 alone there has been 100 more 153 court orders to investigate servers or origin servers behind cloud uh, flare security so how can we investigate those origin servers how can we perform the required digital forensic service behind those service so in the investigation process the main point or the goal is one to find the real ip address which is protected by the cloud prayer server and the other part is bypassing the cloud servers or the cloud protection that is delivered by the cloud flare so in this case for example all the traffic's destined to the cloud flare data center then the cloud flare after filtering legitimate and illegitimate, illegitimate traffic it will forward or fish in be on behalf of the visitors the content from the origin server so in case of bypassing those services the attacker and any other legitimate visitors can access the origin server directly bypass just bypassing the cloud flare protection so the main goal of the investigation process is to reveal the uh, real ip address of the origin server and bypass the cloud protection to access the content sources on the origin server directly so what are the steps to uh, perform those goals the first one is to identify whether the services or the origin server is protected by the cloud flare the other part is identifying the origin ip address or the real ip address the server is uh, redirected and the last method is just accessing the contents or performing the forensic investigation the remote forensic investigation on the server so how can we identify whether the server is or uh, protected by cloudflare or other security providers which is reverse proxy providers the first and the uh, easy method is just to ping the domain of the server in that case it will return the real IP, the ip address behind that domain and if the server or the origin server is behind cloudflare the ping tool will return the cloudflare's ip address that is redirected to the origin server so after discovering the ip address there are a couple of tools uh, there are many tools actually to identify whether those ips belong to the cloudflare or to the origin server the uh, simplest two are just going to the who is domain tools.com and inserting that ip address may reveal who to whom that ip address belongs or just accessing as that ip address may reveal to whom that ip address is connected by simply reply the cloudflare replies that this ip address the origin this ip address belongs to them and they are origin server is not exposed to that ip address so how can we expose that ip address or the origin ip address that the or the server or the hosting server is using behind cloudflare there are 
many tools that are available online and due to uh, many open source researcher the first one or the biggest one is the crime plan project which collects dns records from all over the dns uh, on available to the public so they query that data database associating with the, the origin ip address and the the origin ip address and the associated domain name so by simply inputting that domain name the if the uh, uh, origin server has been recorded in the in their data database they may expose the ip address the second one is history of the previous hosting is so if that web server has been hosted on different sites and recently or uh, at some point migrated to cloudflare those records may appear in the records or history records the other one is by brute forcing or dns brute forcing that domain which may expose other are unforwarded or misconfigured services on that origin server for example if the mail server is hosted on the web server or on the origin server itself since cloudflare delivers only the http redirection this mail the domain may uh, expose the real ip address of that origin server so there are also other online tools that automate this process so that has been said uh, there are also a couple of tools that just automated the other previous solutions for example this one is from reno security labs that automated or scripted the the whole process so that it can be accessed from command line operations this one is the other tool or the other tool that can also uh, reveal or perform the same the same expo exposing real ip address it, it they also automate the crime plan project so what are the challenges to these tools what are the main drawbacks of these tools so the first one is the recent released service which protect the origin servers more secure than the previous ones which is the argo tunnel this argo tunnel is a modification or a, a service on the top of the argo package which is smart routing basically it re reroutes the whole traffic securely from the origin server up to the end data center or cloud center that is nearest to the visitor so what does is it installs clean agent on the origin server that clean agent downloads uh, a certificate from cloudflare data center and encrypts all the traffic between the agent and the cloudflare so in this case any public por publicly facing portals will be closed so only the agent communicate with the cloudflare service so hmm. on the top of that since all the other tools that expose the origin servers On the top of that, since the origin servers or uh, tools exposing the origin servers depend on the misconfiguration of the origin server, those, miscon as those misconfigurations disappear, the uh, finding or exposing those real IP addresses will be challenging. And the other parties, as I talked, the uh, recent services that are more secured. Uh, so in the previous case if somebody got the origin or the public ip address of the origin server accessing the, the website was possible due to that origin server but after the argo tunnel is enabled accessing those services will not be possible due to many cases so how can we identify whether the service or the uh, argo tunnel is enabled on that server this one is just uh, a manual operation to uh, identify whether the service creates any latencies that may bring a difference to the argo smart routing just 
manual operation performed and the average indicates that there has been a little uh, latency to the origin server contained due to the argotanal enabled. So these are just a couple of slides that indicate those performance safety. The other methods that are supposed to work or that may work to expose the real IP addresses are since those real IP addresses depend or expose exposing real IP address tools depend on the configuration of the server, attacks or vulnerability exploiting the vulnerabilities on existing servers may be the other methods to expose those vulnerability, those IP address. So what are the drawbacks to the uh, tools, the existing tools? They highly depend on the misconfiguration of the origin server. So as those servers got more secure and more uh, correctly configured, exposing those real IP address may be challenging. So in conclusion, uh, due to the recent services from the cloud flare, such as the Argo tunnels and the smart routings, and also from experienced configurations of those origin servers, both ex exposing the uh, real IP address is becoming more challenging. And even if those real IP addresses are exposed due to the recent Argo tunnel, accessing those web servers directly will be much difficult, so much challenging. So the focus should be on other methods uh, such as exposing the vulnerabilities in the origin servers. Thank you.